Yo, what's going on everybody? Today I'm coming to you guys with a brand new video. And on this video, we're going to be showcasing the brand new Pokemon Go Bot. This one's actually really new. I think it came out a couple days ago and it's called the Pokemon Bot. Now, if you guys um, have ever used the Necrobot, um, this is actually from the same developers. They split up the team because of some drama that went on in between the development and everything like that. So they kind of split up and here I think the Necrobot is either completely done with or the development's like going to be a lot slower since the team split up. But most of the development went over, or most of the developers went over to Pokemon Bot. And here's a little sneak peek or a little preview of this bot. It's actually pretty cool. I'll read the features as you guys just like look at the bot. Um, so it has it supports PTC and Google like most do. Gets map objects and inventory, so you can actually see your inventory and objects. Um, search for gyms, Pokestops, and spawns. Now, most bots do this, but I haven't seen any of them that actually do anything with gyms, including this one. This thing doesn't do anything with gyms, so I'm not too sure why that's included. It farms Pokestops just like all the other ones. Farms all Pokemon in the neighborhood, so it'll just capture pretty much all the Pokemon. It uses the berries and uses the best balls that you have, and you can probably actually change this in the config file if you guys want to use, like, normal Pokeballs. Um, transfers duplicate Pokemon, evolves all Pokemon, throws away unneeded items, human-like walking so that you don't get soft banned as easily. Um, custom path thing, now this is kind of cool but it's pretty complicated to use and I haven't actually really tested it out. But you can basically set up a little like pathway for how it should walk around in an area and then like kind of do like circles and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more harder to set up but it's something new into the bot. Um, soft band bypass, most of the newer bots have this, um, auto update and version checks and when the new update gets pushed out, it'll say, um, you have not the latest version of it, do you want to update it? Multi-language support, so I guess if you're German, Chinese, Japanese, Spanish... What other languages are there? Dutch? I don't know. <laughs> it basically supports a lot of languages. Um, use Lucky Egg while evolving. You can enable this or disable this in the config file like most bots. Egg hatching automatically. Now this is the one specifically that I found that's different than every single other bot. So as you guys can see, incubator status update 2.88 kilometers or kilometers left. And then... If an egg hatched, no, an egg didn't hatch recently, but if an egg does hatch, it'll put the egg, another egg, right into the incubator, but I guess I'd have to wait for one to hatch to show you guys that, but it'll just keep pushing eggs into the incubators, hatching them, and then pushing more in, so it's pretty cool. And then sniping Pokemon, multi-bot support, which means that you can run the mo multiple of these um, same bots on different accounts at once. Power up Pokemon, so instead of you having to do that manually, and like it's kind of like transferring, but instead of transferring, you're automatically leveling them up. And then it can snipe Pokemon too, which is pretty cool. So, um... Oh, I thought these were. I thought this account was soft banned for a sec. I kept seeing some escapes, but um, yeah. So let's just get started. So download the link in the description, like always. Um, come here, click the release.zip, go save it. Where do I not have it saved? All right, I don't have it saved in here. So go to your downloads and then extract it. I'm just gonna rename. Can I rename this? No, I don't think I can rename this. Can I delete this file then? Yeah. All right. So just extract this file into wherever, go into it, go into it, and then just start it up. And then once you start it up, it'll create the config folder or the config files that you need. Now here's the authentication thing. This is where you put your username and password. And I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and we'll be right back. Oh, real quick guys, before I uh, type in my password, I just kind of want to show you this. This is how you have to have your username and password. You have to have quotations around it and then the comma after the quotation. So this is just like the Google thing, Go the Google inside of the quotations. So then password inside of quotations. And if you want to do PTC, change it to PTC, obviously, and fill these out instead. And then leave the refresh token blank, like always. So I'm going to type in my password and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back now guys. So once you guys have done that, just click save and you will be good. Come over to config and here's where you can customize everything you want to. Did some USB just get unplugged? Yeah, I think it did. Hold on. 
all right there we go my bad about that guys all right so basically here's the config you guys can set this up however you guys want to it's pretty much like every single bot but i guess i'll go through a little bit with you guys amount of pokemon to display on start so this is basically going to display the pokemon that you currently have the top 10 highest cp one so if you want to do 10 you can do 10 if you want to do 20 you can do 20 i'm just going to do 15 so I'm a little different than everybody, I guess. Automatically level up Pokemon. You can set this to true, but I feel like it's probably going to level up every single Pokemon that can level up. And I don't think there's an option to select which ones you want to level up. Actually, I guess we can check here because this is usually where they put it. Pokemon to not transfer. Pokemon transfer filter. No. Alright, so I guess it's probably going to... Um, probably gonna just level up all the Pokemon that it possibly can um so auto update this means I think this should mean that it's gonna automatically update the bot when a new version comes out not too sure though um, default altitude leave that at 10 and then set the latitude and longitude to the coordinates that you want it to the bot to run at or an area around you teleport false you can enable this and this will just teleport to pokey stops I believe a lot quicker instead of you having to walk around and wait it'll probably save you a couple extra seconds but it can also get you soft band so you kind of choose you're kind of risking it for a reward I guess um, delay between player actions I just usually keep all these delays um, normal so that you don't get soft banned because if they're too high the bot may malfunction or you might get soft banned dump Pokemon stats not too sure evolve all Pokemon above IV value you can set this however you want the higher it is then the higher it's gonna be required for them to evolve evolve all Pokemon above certain IV and false or true evolve all Pokemon with enough candy false or true I'm gonna say false um gpx path if you guys want to set this up i'll leave a link in the description for you guys to set this up this is pretty complicated to set up and it takes a little bit of time to understand how to set this up so i don't even do this if you guys want to set it up link in the description for you guys to figure out how to do that on your own um item lucky egg so here's what um all this stuff is going to be in your inventory and then this is basically to prevent your inventory from getting full the bot will automatically just dump stuff out so that you won't your inventory won't get over 350 keep minimum cp instead of transferring them in 1250 keep minimum duplicate pokemon so if you want two pokemon that are over 1250 you can keep two if you want three type in three and everything like that i guess i'll I'm just going to keep 5 because if everything's above 1250, I want all those basically because that's pretty high. Um, keep minimum IV percentage, then just change it. So you guys can pretty much see keep Pokemon that can evolve false, level up by CP or IV. Max Pokeballs per Pokemon. This is going to be how much you're going to throw at a Pokemon. And if it keeps escaping or getting away, then you're just going to stop throwing them. Um, max spawn location offset, max travel distance in meters, ma min delay between snipes, min pokeballs to snipe. So it's going to say that you need to have at least 20 pokeballs to start sniping and then minimum pokeballs while sniping. Once you hit zero, you'll stop sniping Pokemon and you'll go back to going to um, Poke Pokestops and collecting more balls. Now this was a major problem with one of the other bots. I think it was a Necrobot that had this problem. Once you started sniping, you wouldn't stop sniping even when you had no Pokeballs. And that was a major issue with um, that bot. So now they fixed it all up and we're pretty good to go. So Pokemon to not transfer. This is just pretty much the rare Pokemon that you want to keep. Pokemon to evolve. It's just a crappy little Pokemon that nobody really cares about. Pokemon to ignore. This means that the ones not to catch you guys can just delete it or add in more names if you guys want to to ignore more evolve more or not transfer more um pokemon transfer filter so everything below the cp you will not transfer cp or iv you guys can change this on your own and then you guys can add in more pokemon nests for where to snipe now pokemon nests if you guys haven't seen my other video annotation on the screen to go check that out pokemon nests are broken right now i'll make an update video when they are fixed or we know where more pokemon nests are currently located at but for right now they're pretty broken so good luck finding nests i'm not able to find any these are just the default ones that are actually put in i know in new york actually a lot of electro buzzes spawn in i believe so if you guys are, in, are interested in those check out new york um somebody commented on my last video about it if you guys want to go check it out go ahead um so pokemon 
What's this? I'm confused. It just says Pokemon. Pokemon to snipe? Uh, what? Pokemon to evolve. Oh, is this the Pokemon to snipe? Yeah. All right. So this must be, this is the transfer. All right. So here's where the latitude and longitude for Pokemon to snipe are at. Uh, the, like the nest and everything. And here's the Pokemon that's going to snipe. And I think this should just be, um, a list of mostly just rare Pokemon and stuff like that. So if you guys want to add in more Pokemon or take any away, go ahead, delete or add Pokemon use master balls on. This is for pretty much all the Pokemon that nobody has ever discovered before. And I don't even think you can get master balls yet. So that'd be pretty cool. If you guys found one, if you guys do find a master ball, leave a comment with a screenshot and I would go crazy. I might actually give you guys some money if you guys are able to prove that you have a master ball or called a Mew. So DM me on Twitter. If you guys are the first ones to ever figure this out or find one and i could probably toss some money your guys' way because those things are very exotic <laughs> but anyway guys so prioritary prioritize iv over cp here's just a lot more settings that you guys can um basically edit yourself use great ball above cp so it's pretty much very self-explanatory i just want to kind of go through some of this with you guys if you guys didn't understand it but um yeah so i'm just gonna save these settings start up the bot i mean we're 10 we're 11 minutes in so i'm trying to get that i don't like taking this long on bots but you know go ahead continue and now it's going to show 15 of my top pokemon that i currently have so there we go and then it shows the moves that they have the cps that they have and it should show iv it's not this one might not show iv not sure okay then doesn't show iv but it does display the um highest cps and highest perfects this means iv the higher the iv the higher the level that they can go into so now the bot's just basically gonna go as you guys can see it shows how much my incubator status has till the egg is hatched and then it's just gonna start to go at pokey stops and then eventually it'll start sniping but yeah guys holy crap is that a thousand cp 1100 cp pretty good but uh yeah guys that's gonna be it for this video so i hope you guys did enjoy it if you guys did and you guys want to use this bot like always download link in the description so you guys can go check it out actually look right here look at the stats uh this has only been run for an hour and 12 minutes and let's see hour and 12 minutes we caught 70 pokemon well that's per hour how much xp i guess it's just 26,000 XP we earned. I'm not too sure. It's not like the other bots, but yeah, so you guys can see it from here. This has been only an hour and 12 minutes, but uh, you guys, like I said, this is going to be for this video. So if you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see some more Pokemon Go content, hit that subscribe button. If you guys have any questions about this bot, then uh, comment down below. And also, real quick, I'm doing a giveaway for 3,600 Pokecoins. So if you guys want to go check that out, annotation on the screen, that's for my 3K subscriber giveaway. So thank you guys so much for giving me 3K subscribers, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.